A decline in blood glucose concentration stimulates corticotropic cells in the anterior pituitary to produce adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH. ACTH binds with cells in the zona fasciculata of the adrenal cortex and promotes the production of cortisol, the major glucocorticoid in the adrenal cortex. Cortisol targets liver cells and causes them to undergo glycogenolysis, a process that breaks down glycogen into glucose. It also promotes the formation of glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, a process called gluconeogenesis. The glucose is released into the blood and blood glucose concentration is restored to normal levels. Cortisol targets muscle cells and causes them to break down protein, thereby liberating amino acids into the bloodstream. The amino acids are used by the liver to produce more glucose. The glucose is released into the blood and blood glucose concentration is restored to normal levels. Cortisol also targets adipose cells. It causes adipose cells to break down lipids, a process called lipolysis, thereby liberating fatty acids into the bloodstream. The fatty acids are used by the liver to produce more glucose. The fatty acids are also used by other cells for fuel, thereby sparing glucose and allowing the return to normal blood glucose levels. The glucose is released into the blood and blood glucose concentration is restored to normal levels. In summary, ACTH promotes production of cortisol. Cortisol causes liver cells to undergo gluconeogenesis. Cortisol causes muscle cells to break down proteins to amino acids. Cortisol causes adipose cells to undergo lipolysis. The total response of the actions of cortisol is to increase blood glucose levels.